say one thing very, very clear on that. Despite the fact that you can point to the unemployment report being, you know, all the problems with the unemployment report. And there are problems with it. The participation rate is ridiculous. People that are coming off the unemployment uh, benefits and not being calculated into the report is ridiculous. Uh, Part-time workers, seasonality workers, and people getting uh, a second job just to help pay for the cost of things. Those are all ridiculous that make the report seem a little better than it technically really is. Mm -hmm. When you look at everybody's, when you look at an average person in American life. But the stock market and, and and Wall Street doesn't care two iotas about that, Tim. They mm-hmm. care about the numbers. And the num- regardless of how the numbers got to where they wanted to get to, they had 312,000 new jobs come into that. And that's on the tails of an amazing private number coming out on, on uh, yesterday in the unemployment report as well. So, uh, excuse me, on initial claims. So in terms of that, However you want to talk about the problems with how these reports are, and, and I'll, I'll do the same thing with the CPI, CPI numbers. The CPI numbers are the biggest bullshit numbers in the entire marketplace. They, mm. they are completely made up to a certain extent, and they lack all just 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 common well, sense. they strip out what they want to be able to make the but argument they want. That's the point. Yeah. But that doesn't mean that the Fed – takes that into account so we as consumers can complain about it and we can point to the problems with this reports but the fed is going to track the cpi report they're going to track the pce report and they're going to track the unemployment report and they're going to track uh, the um, the ppi report Mm -hmm. and they're going to use those numbers as the justification for their fed policy even if i personally disagree with their numbers on inflation I think inflation is well above their 2% number. They disagree with that. They're not asking me my opinion. So the unemployment report doesn't have its flaws today. Yes, it had its flaws. The same way every economic report that, that people who understand economics can point to the flaws in those reports. But Jerome Powell and the Fed is going to track those reports, and they're going to make decisions based on the, those reports. So we have to take the numbers, not what we think of the numbers. Has the Fed mandate evolved or are they just being very liberal in their interpretation of what they should be doing? Because the original mandate, Matt, was you know, to... Well, the Fed mandate has evolved over the last 10 years, and they don't want to admit it. They don't the want to Fed, talk about it. The Fed has a dual mandate. And, and, and Chairman Bernanke, former Chairman Bernanke, thank you for reminding us all of your, your mandate in that panel today that you're not applying. But the mandate is very simple. The Fed wants to maximize the labor market while also controlling inflation, okay? So they create monetary policies to maximize employment. Once employment is maximized, you have to reduce your stimulus uh, policy so that you don't cause hyperinflation. But today, you heard Jerome Powell literally say that they are watching the stock market. Mm -hmm. So so is the stock market the third mandate now that the Fed has to uh, shift monetary policy, which is always supposed to be long-term, to now handle short-term volatility in the stock market? I personally think that is utterly insane and ridiculous, but they've been doing it since 09, Tim. So this is nothing new. It it isn't, and it's concerning, but uh, that's also why the market is having a lot of volatility. I think all this new um, implication that the Fed is going to be involved and how direct they are about it. I mean, the market obviously loves it today. They're interpreting a Fed that's wish-washing and flip-flopping like politicians. And I, I, I had a lot of respect for Jerome Powell in 2018. He had a plan. He executed his plan. But he is capitulating to politics, in my opinion. You think he's being weak? I do. I have. I had stronger words for him earlier today that I can't say on a recording. But yeah, I do think he's being weak. Uh, I would uh, enjoy you to say. <laughs> no, I can't. Yeah. I can't. No. I, I would get politically no. corrected. These were these over. were before you joined the. Uh... These were, private, these were private comments. I, I, I can't say in public. 